Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another video for you guys So I know I've been saying a lot in the last videos that we've been uploading really inconsistently And we haven't been back on that daily grind and I do want to be um, but recently we did just finish when I mean recently I literally mean yesterday the last qualifier for the worlds for esports for all that stuff Now you guys know it's been a year long of just grinding Now we do have two finals left We have one in two weeks and one in a month and a half But that's gonna be in a little bit of time So we definitely have time to work on our YouTube videos a lot more We're gonna be playing a ton more and definitely uploading almost every single day if not every single day So today we have a really good video for you guys now This is starting to slowly become meta is double tank poco now you've been seeing it a lot as of late even in competitive you've been seeing it a lot but this is a very big variation that's really really good it's basically an infinite hp comp so the goal with this comp is trying to just not die we basically just heal jigsaw who's going to be on frank the entirety of the time pam just does pam pam is hard to kill anyway so it's just a lot of hp over there and poco obviously just has a ton of hp as well plus the heal so it's going to go really really well you can basically do this in every single map if you play it properly but if you play it in proper maps such as stone fort which we're going to be showing you guys today it is killer so with that being said let's hop into the games and let's get it going all right, so here we go into the first game. So we're going to be going up against Primo, Rosa, and Poco. So this is actually a pretty big counter because we're facing a Primo, and Primo does counter Jig, but we should be fine. So basically, the goal of the Poco is just not to die the entire game. So you guys can see what I'm doing is I'm hitting shots. So I'm, I'm hitting my shots while at the same time healing Jigsaw. So you guys are going to see that's the most value you can get out of a shot is just stand heal jigsaw and just continue to also hit shots you guys can see he doesn't have full health i'm hitting the primo and jigsaw at the same time so again our goal is just to stay up here i'm going to give our teammates additional hp over there so you're going to get an additional 500 per second again they you don't have to wait until they're low on health especially when facing a double tank comp like this you just consistently give them heals no matter what you guys can see jigsaw is like not even close to going down but we're still going to heal him because you get it back so ridiculously fast and again, you guys can see, we haven't really even been close to going down. It's been pretty crazy, and we just stay up. We stay in the back. We don't get into the fights too often. We're going to heal Raz over here while hitting this Poco, or not Poco, sorry, while hitting this Rosa. And we're going to give it our 500 heal per second, our gadget. And again, just continuously hit it, continuously give it gadgets and heals. And there's just no way that it can die. It's just an absolutely amazing comp, to be honest. And you guys see, we just bodied... The comp that we faced super hard even though they are a counter just because we played it properly and we did what we're supposed to and we can honestly just stay up here and continue because there's literally no no way that they can take us down there's no way that they can kill us we just have too many heals and that is going to be it for the first game so you guys see really really good action so we're going to do one more on stone four and then we're going to show you guys some other maps and show you guys how you can play it even if it's going to be off meta on the map because you still just have so much hp so anyways let's hop into the next game and let's keep things rolling all right, so here we go into our second game. Now, we're going to be facing Bo, Carl, and Tara. Now, we did get underdogs, so at least we know these guys are pretty good players. So, let's see how this goes. So, everyone's going to go mid because we have a lot of HP, and for them to come into mid, it's going to be pretty hard for them. So, again, I'm not doing too much here. I'm just trying to heal our teammates. Uh, they do have bow mines, which definitely does counter us. I'm just going to try and heal Raz over here and make sure he doesn't go down. Jig goes down, but that's because we were focused on Raz. Now, Carl is... They actually have three pretty big counters to our comp, to be honest. So, this is actually going to be a really good test, considering that they are pretty good players. Since, obviously, we are underdog. Uh, I'm just going to use my gadget and give it to Jig over here so we get a little bit of HP. Uh, I'm going to try and stay up looking pretty good for us we're just gonna heal jig over there even though we didn't need it we needed it so we just shot it there anyways jig's gonna be able to get the kill and now we have full control back so things are looking pretty good seven to nothing for us right now i believe raz got that kill okay he did i don't think there's anything that that tara can do to us um we're just gonna stay up over here not really any concern because raz does does have his gadget with pam now again gadgets in star in star powers definitely do help with this comp but they're definitely not needed you don't need to be max to play this comp at all it's actually really not that hard and it's actually a very simple comp because all these brawlers you know they're not really sharpshooters they're not brawlers that are too difficult to hit shots with or anything so it's not too bad jigsaw is going to get a really easy stun over there i'm going to use my gadget to keep us all alive and again that's going to be the game against good players and literally a triple counter we're able to 10-0 them still so that's going to be it uh, i guess oh they almost had two 1ks on their team so we're going to move over to maps where this comp doesn't do too well and see if we can still win and show you guys the strats to still win so you guys can push these brawlers on maps that might not be the best so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up all right so here we go we're gonna move on to brawl ball now now although this comp is really good in basically all brawl ball maps it's definitely not that great in this one because there's a lot of walls and just like a lot of angles that we aren't really that great with 
Um, but anyways, it'll be fine because, you know, this comp is pretty broken. So again, we're just going to heal Jigsaw over here. He's going to be one shot. We're going to give him our gadget so he can stay up 100%. Um, and so far, pretty good start. We have really good positioning on these guys. Raz is going to use his uh, gadget to keep Jig alive. We're going to be one shot, but Jig's just going to break the walls over there and stun that Sprout. And we're going to get a really easy goal literally 25 seconds into the game. So things are looking pretty good. Again, I'm just going to give my gadget right off the start since we kind of got pushed into the action here and we didn't want to be in it. We're just going to get a super shot. Uh, oh, it's going to be on the line. That's very unfortunate. Very close, but unfortunately, no goal. Jigsaw is going to be able to get that kill over there, though, so things should be fine. He's going to move the ball up, and we should be able to score since he does have super. Raz is kind of just doing Raz things over here, and I have super. Now, he did go for a trick shot, so I guess that's why we didn't score, but there's really nothing that these guys can do. We're going to be able to win the game really, really fast. Jigsaw is kind of just walking around doing jig things, but that's going to be the win over there. We're going to do one more Brawl Ball game, and then we're also going to do one game in Hot Zone. So let's get into the second Brawl Ball game, and let's keep things going. All right, so here we go into our next game. Now, we're facing definitely much more of a counter now with uh, Daryl, Nani, and Primo. So we'll see how this game goes. I'm going to use my gadget right off the start, even though I don't like doing that too often. In this case, it definitely is the strat since, you know, we're going to get into combat pretty early. Jigsaw does have his super, so he's just going to super this side over here. We're just going to put that ball in the net, and that's going to be a really quick goal, 17 seconds into it, even though we are facing a counter. So again, we're just going to start walking right into it. Uh, I'm going to give this or this gadget to me and Jig. We're going to be able to get that kill really quickly. Jig does have super. I'm going to give this to myself so that I stay up. He's going to give me this ball. Oh, I was going to try and do the trick shot, but I'm not going to score. Jig's going to pass the ball to Raz. We should be able to score here. Um, it looks like they saved it, and I'm out of gadgets. So he did kind of rush that one a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Um, we'll still be able to score. So again, I'm hitting shots and healing Jig at the same time. That's the type of value you want to get when you're using your Poco shots, which is very important. Um, this guy is going to use his super. It's going to take out me and Jigsaw. And now we're actually in a pretty dangerous situation right here. Luckily, Raz is able to play really good defense. And he just, oh my god, he just clipped that guy over there. Um, so it's looking pretty dangerous for us. Jigsaw is able to make a good save. We're going to heal Jig over here. He's definitely not going to go down to that guy with our heals. Um, so things are looking pretty good. He's going to be able to bait that Primo. Primo's not even going to dent Jigsaw. Doesn't really matter. This Nani does kind of counter us, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, okay. I, th I thought like there's no way he's getting that in. He just missed the angle. Um, so we're going to walk up over here. It's looking pretty good for the team. Jig's going to get another stun over there. We're just going to aim this trick shot. Hopefully it goes in. I don't think so because it's the right middle of the net. But we're going to be able to get some kills. I'm going to pick up this ball and I'm just going to... Oh, I guess I'm not going to put it in the net. Maybe Jig will. I don't know. We're kind of fooling around this game. This game definitely could have been done a long time ago. Um, but I guess, you know, it just means for a longer video. But anyways, we're just going to walk up over here. Uh, it looks like Jigsaw is getting rolled on, but that doesn't really matter because we got our heals. He's going to get a double stun over there. He's going to get a super back. So we're just going to give the ball to Jigsaw. Hopefully his trick shot hits because he's definitely going to be going for a trick shot. Uh, he goes for it. Oh, I don't I don't really know what he just did. That was pretty bad. So we're just going to put the ball in the net. We're just going to end it. And we're going to move on to our final game. So let's hop into our last one. It's going to be Hot Zone. And let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into our final game on Hot Zone. Now, Gale did just receive a nerf. So I do want to see how that affects Gale. I don't think it's going to affect him too much, but we'll see what happens. I don't even think we have to go in the zone, to be honest. Kind of just stand outside and heal Jig. Um, that might be the strat. It looks like Jig is just going to jump in over here. We're just going to heal him, so he should be fine. He's going to stay alive. Now, unfortunately, I can't get into that right zone, um, but I don't think I really want to. I think the strat for me would just be to help our guys out over here. Uh, we're going to be able to take out that Jesse. I don't really know about that Jesse turret placement over there, but it's whatever. Um, we are doing a pretty good job at holding on to this right side. Now, we are going to definitely have to move on to the left eventually, but we, we don't have to do that yet, so we'll see what happens. We're going to heal Jigsaw over there because he was kind of low, but again, they're not going to be able to enter this right side. And just thinking about the meta in Hot Zone, I feel like our comp is going to be perfectly fine in this mode. I think we'll have no difficulties whatsoever. Now, unfortunately, Raz is going to go down over there because they are jumping in pretty fast, and I am also going to go down. But Jigsaw is doing a pretty good job on that left side over there. I'm just going to jump up. Um, I haven't, I've only used one gadget, which is actually a pretty big boost for us, to be honest. 
Uh, I'm gonna give hand over my heels over there. Don't know if they needed it or not, but why not? We're gonna give Jig those heels as well. So all we need is this right or this left zone over here. So we're looking like really good in this uh, in this in this situation over here. Again, gonna use my heels. Gonna give myself and Raz that 500 a second gadget. And things are looking pretty good. It looks like about four more seconds until we win the game. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. So you guys can see just how easy it is to do well with this comp. As long as you're getting proper value with your heals. And doing everything properly, not rushing things. But you guys can see it's super easy. Not that high skilled. And very, very, very easy games to win. And very easy to push. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, use this, use this comp like if you guys want to gain cups. It's super easy. Get yourself in a room. Coordinate a lobby. But... But yeah, that's gonna be it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I will be back again tomorrow. I promise with another video So I'll catch you guys then see you guys then peace